Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome to the channel Bookables. Today I'm here to talk all about cozy reads. You know what? It is a rainy blustery day as I have my faint candles going. It is the perfect time to talk about the books that you want to read while you're wrapped up in a blanket, have a candle, you know, lit, you're drinking coffee or tea, whatever you like. Books that just make you feel warm and cozy inside. So these are those books that give me those exact feelings. Up, since I already talked about coffee, why not start off with Legends and Lattes by Travis Baltry, the coziest book I have read this year thus far. I love this book. This is all about a character named Viv who is an orc and she is, you know, doing what orc does, killing, slaying, you get it. And she's, you know what, I'm done with it. I'm gonna hang up my battle ax and I'm gonna open up a coffee shop. And you know, in this fantastical world that she lives in, nobody really knows what coffee is. She tried it once and so when she opens up her coffee shop, people are like, coffee, what's this? And it's just literally all about that. Like literally her opening up a coffee shop, hiring somebody, she hires this little mouse that makes these cinnamon rolls and she learns that you could put ice in a coffee to make it iced coffee. You can make biscotti, you can have live music out of coffee. And you think like, duh, that's all coffee shop stuff, duh. But this world, they don't really know that. And it was just so cozy and warm to read about. I love this one. If you're looking for a cozy book, literally look no further than this one. This one will just make you smile. There's really no plot to it 100%. But goodness me, I adored the mess out of it. Likewise with The House by the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Clute. This is another type of contemporary fantastical book, if you will, cozy fantasy, if you want to call it that. This is about a character named Linus, who he works in this department of like, I forget what it's called, department of department in charge of magical youth. So basically, we live in a world where it's kind of like X-Men, you have gifted youth, um, like mutants or something if you will and he is in charge of going to these foster homes and these orphanage homes if you will full of these magical youth and so he goes to this one that's on this island that his boss has told him to really keep a close eye on and he falls in love with these kids because they're amazing one of them is chauncey he's like this green blob that's life's dream wants to be a bellhop it's so cute you have like a 200 year old garden gnome you have a wervern you have lucy who is the devil's son <laughs> it's just bizarre and then you have the guy who owns it all and it's just so warm and cozy you just want to go to this island go to this house and just fall in love with these kids yourself because you're going to while reading this book it was so warm so cozy such good found family vibes. I cannot get enough of it. Speaking of warm, cozy books, Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. I don't read classics, okay? I am not a classic reader. I've learned that it's not my shtick and I'm okay with that. But I have read a few here and there. Little Woman is my most recent one that I've read. I read a few years ago and I loved it. If you don't know, it, um, it's about the uh, March family and you follow all different sisters of the March. Beth March, Joe March, Amy. I'm forgetting one. I hate myself for that. Beth, Mark, Beth, Amy, Joe. I don't, Beth, Amy, Joe, Meg, Meg, of course, Meg, duh. Um, but either way, um, it's all about their life and how they have different things going on. And it's just so warm. These sisters care for each other. They're there for each other. They find different paths in life. And it's just a classic that is very readable. As someone, like I said, who does not read a lot of classics because I just... It, I'm just not into them. This one was very readable. In fact, I need to read Anne of Green Gables. I would recommend this as like cozy, but I haven't read it quite yet, but I've heard it's like the definition of cozy. So I definitely plan to read it very, very soon. It's very, very cozy, very cute. These books are just like your easy, I think, classics to get into that are not gonna like, not gonna be too hard to read, if that makes any sense. I don't know, it makes me sound stupid, probably is. Next up, I have The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. I was not expecting to love this book as much as I did. This was a definition, this was a breath of fresh air. It was so cozy, so warm. I fell in love with it. Definitely one of my favorite books I've read this year. So this book follows a character named Lucy, who she is a kindergartner's like teacher's aide. And basically there's this little boy that goes to her school that she was like in his class last year as an aide. And he recently lost both of his parents and he develops a really close relationship to Lucy. So much so that Lucy wants to adopt him. She wants to be his mom and if you are in trying to adoption especially foster to adoption it's a very hard thing adoption's hard for till everything about trying to get a kid is hard everything about trying to have a child whether it be through adoption fertility fostering 
you know, just it's, it's, it's hard. No way to cut it. It's freaking hard. Okay. And so Lucy does not have the best salary. She lives with roommates. And so the state's like, you know what? It's not going to be realistic. You are not going to get this boy. He is not going to be your son. And she is heartbroken until she hears about this great contest that's going on. So she is a favorite children's author. He's been very MIA recently. It's called like the clockwork series. And Basically, he puts out a contest to his biggest fans, and Lucy is one of them, and she gets a chance to go to, like, the real clock island, and whoever wins his kind of set of elaborate games, if you will, gets the rights to his new books, and she can sell it, and she can have enough money to adopt him. Um, I think his name's Christopher, and so she goes there, and it's just basically... It is so warm. It's not really about the games at all. It's about her going to Clock Island, a series that she fell in love with when she was younger, about her trying to figure out if she can be um, Christopher's mother. And it's just so warm. I loved it. If you've heard a lot about this book, you're like, is it worth the hype? In my opinion, it is. I thoroughly enjoyed it from start to finish. Then we have another type of found family book, and that is The Irregular Society. That is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Madana. This one reminds me very much of The House by the Cerulean Sea. Um, in this book, we have a character named Micah, who is a witch, only you have to a bit very hush hush you can't tell people like she be she meets with other witches like once a quarter just to be like hey witches <laughs> I don't know. And you know, you have to keep it very quiet. And then basically, Micah gets a letter saying, you know, there's these three young girls in this house that are witches, and they don't know how to train them. She needs somebody to train them. And so they want to hire Micah. And she's like, you know what, I grew up alone, because you're always supposed to be alone when you're a witch. And she's like, no, I'm gonna go to these children's house. And I'm gonna teach them the right way to become a witch. And so she goes there. And she falls in love with these girls. She falls in love with the librarian at this house. And it's just all so adorable. Like cozy on cozy on cozy. Like loved it. Next up, I have a romance book that I always recommend. It's like a just, I don't know why it's so cozy to me. It's just so cute. And that is Very Sincerely Yours by Carrie Winfrey. This one's very much like You've Got Mail meets Jim Henson slash Mr. Rogers. Interesting. Are you intrigued? Um, I forget the character's name. It's about a girl that she gets broken up with at the very beginning of this book. And she has really put her whole identity in this relationship, she said. And so she doesn't know who she is with out this relationship so she decides to write an email to this guy that's on like local tv he's kind of like jim henson i think his name's teddy or her name's teddy forgive me um but he's like jim henson slash mr rogers he has puppets he's like a kids show and she's like you know I'm just gonna write him for advice because what have I got to lose and they start like a pen pal type of thing and they finally meet up and it's just so adorable it's a clean romance and it's adorable romance I really thought it was very cozy honestly with just the whole vibe of it being just so warm and wholesome <laughs> I don't know but it just was in my opinion I really enjoyed it and would always recommend it my favorite Carrie Winfrey book by far next up pick any one of the books out from um BK Morrison series. The first one's Love Light Farms, which is a good Christmas one. The next one's Mixed Feeling, Mixed Signals. And the third one, I forget what the third one's called, In the Weeds. They're all taking place in this very small town, and it's all about small town romances, and they are just so freaking cozy. It makes you want to go to this town and fall in love with it, and it's just so adorable. I've yet to read the second one. I know. I'm horrible, but I'm working on it. It was just like the whole town setting makes you feel so cozy. Like you just want to like visit. It's like visiting Stars Hollow, if you will, in a book. So there you have my very short but ever-growing list of cozy reads. Books that are just the definition of cozy, in my opinion, that I love and adore and will always recommend for the cozy, warm feelings they give. I know it's short. I want to keep it short because I really want to talk about my ultimate favorites. And hopefully every year this list will grow and grow and grow. If you have any books that you read to for just strictly cozy vibes, please let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.